It's almost 159 years since more than 1,400 British troops laid siege to the fortified pa at Orako. Tuhoe leader and academic Tāpou Temara, this year's senior New Zealander of the year finalist, has written an account of Tuhoe involvement in the battle. Tāpou Temara is with us now. Te koe, te rangatira. Thank you for joining us and congratulations on being named a finalist for senior New Zealander of the year. Hmm. Thank you very much. Now, the, the, the award for Senior New Zealand of the Year will be announced just before the commemorations later this month. How does it feel to be acknowledged this way and what does it mean to you? It's always embarrassing for me, uh, for that kind of spotlight to be um, put on me. Um, I think it's embarrassing because uh, when I do go back to uh, the hills at Rotahuna, my cousins always say, oh, uh, hey, B, uh, you like Rangi Matamua? <laughs> and, um, well, I haven't uh, created a holiday for New Zealand yet, so that that that, uh, uh, that is the kind of embarrassment that I'm talking about. Plus, I really don't like that kind of limelight on me. Yeah. I, I totally understand that. Now, the, the award is yeah. for people who have made a positive contribution to Aotearoa late in life. We know that you've been making a positive yeah. contribution all through life. And it's to, designed to make the world a better place. Well, what legacy do you hope to have created for future generations? The legacy that I've always um, um, hoped that I would leave behind is the way that um, having some impact on the um, on the shaping of young minds, on shaping minds um, uh, that would uh, make an impact uh, in their time and their lives. Now, uh, looking at your book, Te Rau Takitahi o Tuhoe Ki o Rāko, highlights the Battle of Orako through the eyes of Tuhoe. Why did you feel it important to present the battle this way? You know, I've always... Um, always felt that the story of Tuhu had not been told. Um, um, OK, I have to admit that uh, what else I learnt about Orako was told through uh, the eyes of my uh, great-great-grandfather who brought up my, uh, my grandmother, who had my mother, who had me. Mm. Uh, and he gave uh, a good... Uh, um, a commentary on Orak, where um, Elsden Best comes to grief in my uh, mind is that the the way that he evaluates what happened at Orako um, and talks about uh, there was no way that uh, to her, uh, that Orako was going to be victorious for the uh, 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 Maori and that it was always going to be a battle to be won uh, by the high. Yeah. civilised uh, uh, crown. And uh, I always thought the story of Oraka told uh, through the eyes of Pākehā writers uh, talked about what uh, non-Māori thought and what they did, but nothing of substance about how our Koroa and our Kuiya felt, what they said, what the, how they, uh, what they discussed and the politics of uh, their decisions. Nothing like that was... Uh, was told, maybe skimmed over, but not mm. gone into in detail. The book talks about that. Now, as you mentioned, you're from Ruatahuna, where most of the Tuhoe uh, warriors went to Orako from. Uh, how was the knowledge of Orako passed down to you? My generation um, of uh, uh, Tuhoe people, uh, knew a lot about Orako. By that I mean, uh, it was not unfamiliar to us. We were very familiar with Orako because our um, grandparents, our granduncles, our kurus and kuyas talked about Orako. They talked about Orako around the around the uh, the fire. They talked about Orako um, uh, formally, and they talked about Orako um, when uh, they. Uh, uh, had uh, uh, the um, the Maramutana mm. of uh, Johnny Walker mm. 
um, they had uh, partaken of, uh, of whiskey. And they talked about this. And, of course, when they uh, uh, partook of uh, the, uh, the dreaded uh, Waipiro, they started to do their haka. Oh. They started to haka. And, of course, the haka were, were about uh, Orako. And that's why we know. Uh, and as children, we asked. And they, they talk about it. Uh, normally, they wouldn't. But when they were uh, on the verge of being inebriated, they talked a lot about it. Oh. And it wasn't Haurangi talk, it was talk that was good. Uh, Besides that, uh, my grandmother and grandfather uh, was um, lived with uh, uh, one of the veterans, uh, one of the informants of Elderston based about Uraka and about Tikanga Māori and Mātauranga Māori. It's just an absolute privilege to, to listen to you, love listening to you. Mm. Uh, your book, Te Rau Takitahi o Tūhoe ki o Rāko, Tā Pau Te Mara. thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations on being named finest for Senior New Zealander of the Year and congratulations on your new book, Ngā Mihi Ki Thank you, thank you.